We've seen a lot of ingenuity in our community to meet the me demand for personal protective equipment worn by healthcare workers during this COVID-19 pandemic. As news specialist Jed Bow reports, Intermountain Healthcare is now manufacturing its own face shields to share with hospitals across the state. Jed? Yeah, Dave, we're starting to see a lot of ingenuity, collaboration, and generosity in projects like these. In this project, we're talking about those large clear plastic face shields that go over the top of the N95 masks that the healthcare givers wear when they're giving somebody that COVID-19 test. There weren't enough in the market. So, you know, what do we... You know, what, what can we do about that? Three weeks ago, it became obvious that Utah would eventually run out of critical personal protective equipment in our hospitals if something was not done. We started out as an idea. Scott Schofield, director of the supply chain at Intermountain Healthcare, tells me they wanted to take care of face shields for their hospitals and every other hospital in the state. So we just jumped in and went to work. Three weeks later, they have made nearly 30,000 face shields producing three to 4,000 each day, getting wrong material donations from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and design help from the University of Utah. This has been so rewarding, you know, honestly, you know, to be able to do something that you know is a critical need and is really making an impact with our caregivers and keeping them safe has just meant, you know, it's meant all the world to me. And I know everybody else has worked with me on this project. Made from a polycarbonate material, it's lightweight, functional, and easy to reuse. If the shield gets dirty, they can clean it with your regular cleaning protocol. Distributing those face shields where needed. It's just a, an important part of PPE because it extends the life of the N95 mask and protects the caregiver from any splashback or whatever into the eyes or the face or the nose. Finding solutions when it matters the most. It's just good old American ingenuity here. Just you know, pulling together what we have to make something work. Yeah, good solution. Once they've finished making 50,000 of the face shields and have those distributed, they'll assess whether they need to make more. And if they don't, they plan to move on to making sneeze guards as a shield in their pharmacies. So putting more ingenuity to work to come up with better solutions. Guys? All right, Jed, thank you.